Hello, welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Today, I have been working on a project. It was actually recommended to me by a buddy of mine, Dr. Earl Insanity, and I thought it was doable and tackleable, and you know what? I was able to get somewhere with us, um, so I'm quite happy about that. So I'll dive right into it. This is my script. I um, actually, today, I learned a lot about the programming language. I was starting with using the Visual Script Builder, and I was having a tough time within it, so actually, I've, I've done figured it out. I figured out how to do things I didn't know how to do in the Visual Script Builder, and I made things. <laughs> and today, I was inspired by my friend uh, to be a little bit crazy with the naming of things. He actually gave me the name Steve, and I ran with it, and I named my variables all st names like Steph, Stella, and Stacy. <laughs> and uh, so. I don't know because it's a stepper motor, but anyway, um, I wanted to go in here so I could show you. Um, I have an optional part here because I think a because of how the hotkeys work, and that's how I'm using it in my test rig. You can't really go from zero to a hundred anyway; it just stops at zero or stops at a hundred with the increase and decrease functions of the hotkeys. So. I disabled this, was putting slashes around it, but you can just remove these. And what this does, um, so first I'll, I'll, I'll show you it working, how it works. You just, um, here it helps if you can see what's happening. So 75%, that, that's 90 degrees. 100%, that's 360 degrees. And it's just basically, there's a little light on the back. You could use that as a normal interior light. Like you could put it anywhere as long as it's named. Stacy the interior, or interior light Stacy. That's the name. And this is the name, advanced rotor. I just leave that and then put a space. Steve the stepper motor. The the is lower case because I, I, I use proper grammar, but well, okay, so that's the correct name just you know you could go in through here and change that if you want to name it something shorter like advanced rotor b you can go ahead and do that um i trust you you can name anything anything you like but uh, you could just also just take the name by going copy paste like if you you know you i put it in the comment at the top so you but bam that's your rotor name and bam that's your interior light name and it is important to use an advanced rotor. I designed it for an advanced rotor because in case you want cargo to go through. Um, so yeah, so the way these buttons work, once you get to 100, well, it won't go any higher. And then once you go to zero, it'll go to the same position, but you won't go, the buttons won't tell it to go around to the, um, to the next, um, <clears throat> to to it won't tell it to go all the way around back to 100 once you go below zero on that button thing there but if you go in here right you can grab the slider and say you want 45 degrees well uh you would go 12.5 percent of a rotation and that's 45 degrees exact um say i wanted uh Oh geez, what's uh, yeah, um, like you go bam, and then it should be the other 45 degrees. I mean, and then you could minus another 90 from this, so you no, you can't minus 90 from that. <laughs> what, what would I put that to next? I don't know, like, well, it, it could be whatever you like, you could put it to 60 degrees, it depends what you're making, right? Like, if, if you have some kind of hexagonal rotary gun, you might need to, to grab a hold of these 
Um, anything that's divisible by 5, so like 5, 10, you know, like 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, those are what your buttons are going to get you um, just because of the way they work 5 degrees at a time. Um, that's neat and all. Um, there could be, you know, you could, but yeah, so that's, it will go to the accuracy of 0.1 degrees, but if you, so say if I go to the slider, right, and I'm at, like, this position, whoops, maybe I'm at, like, a couple degrees, and I want to go here, by default, it's going to go around the long way, but if you go in here, that's why I put this here. You can, um, all you do is you just delete the slashes I'm going to show you. The ones that are actually hiding some code. And if you delete these guys to there, that's it. And just hit OK. Now when you go in here, say I want it to go a little bit shorter path, I just can, I can now. It'll. It might jump past it a little, but it, it, it's allowing it to go past the zero if that's the shorter way, right? And, um, you know, I have a big weight on there for testing purposes, so that's why ooh, she's jumping past a little. But if, if you have a big weight on there and you don't like that, um, by default, the velocity is set to 30 here. You can just shoot that down a bit, you know, 20, that's a little little less that it'll shoot past. I mean, I just put it there to be a little ridiculous, but um, it doesn't really matter. You could make that velocity nice and slow and careful for some reason, but, um, you know, like say it's there, is it shorter to go this way or shorter to go that way? It'll determine it now. It uses some simple math and figures out what's the shortest way. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, anyway, for my uh, default, I'm just going to put this back here. And it's as simple as that. It's back to normal default mode. Bam, it's done. You can now... Go ahead and just do it with the keys here, or as I demonstrated with this slider, if you slide this here, oh, sometimes it'll skip that. Oh yeah, so it's just, if you have a problem with that, um, it's, I've got things set to um, save on the sim speed. So you can reduce this number, say. So now it's going to run twice as often. Oh wait, sorry, what did I set that to? Oh, I meant to put a... Why did I put a 5? Whoop, there we go. So if you put that to 1, it'll be a lot less likely to do that to you. It might. Um, if you want to, there's another variable to do the same thing. Let's see if it'll shoot past. Will it shoot past? It is only shooting past because it has that big weight on her. But yeah, it won't shoot past with that. And it also rotates butter smooth now. Like it slows down right as it approaches. Like it knows it's getting there. So that's because this is set up to the highest uh, running frequency, but say, oops, say you don't want that, you want to save your bandwidth for other things, you can just make it so it won't pick up such crazy speed, and that's what Steph's in charge of. Steph's set to 0.5, and that's a multiplier for the RPM uh, function, so like if you just put it, let's put it down to half. 0.25 now, okay? Um, now it won't go nearly as fast. So if I grab this, it, it's actually 
it's it, that's a much it can it gets some speed there, but it's slowing down sooner and um, safer. And you can see it's a little jerky with that um, slow like ten ticks thing. But yeah, ten ticks, point two five with this heavy weight on it is about as safe. So you might want to fine tune. You can fine tune some things. Um, that's why I'm making the video. To, I just couldn't write all the instructions per se. But see, that still picks up some speed there, um, and it's still safely stopping at the lower frequency. Because I've, I've, a, so the rule here is. With the 10 ticks, if you put something heavy on it, you might want to reduce Steph, which is, her job is regulating speed. So I got her down to 0.25 now. If you don't mind this running at just one tick, you put that 10 down to a one, you don't, you could probably try juicing stuff up a little bit here uh, there she is. increase the staff. Stella, she doesn't move. Stella is 3.6 because Stella gets multiplied by Stacy and 100 times 3.6 equals 360. So you don't want to touch Stella. You leave her alone. Um, I mean, unless you reduce you never want to go above 3.6, but if you wanted it to be really fine-tuned, like I could I could make this a uh, small number, like say half of that, so 1.8, uh, uh, and um, now it's probably going to go wild here for a second, let's see here, um, let's see, so now it's, it's going to be within a half of a circle, when I go up to 100, it's only gone halfway around. So if you remember 3.6 and then you divide that, you can't go bigger than 3.6 because that doesn't even make sense. But because um, the rotor can't really go past 360 degrees. But see now I, I'm going two and a half degrees with every step. So now if you need something to go like a reliable 45 and you want to do it by clicking, you want to click five times, one, two, three, four, five. And at 25%, now my rotor here, it's at 45 degrees instead of 90. Everything's halved. You know, and, you know, so so you can... That's the power of those variables um, there, is you can fiddle with that until it's at your liking. So I'm going to put it back to the full 360. Um, obviously... There, oops, there, oh, no, 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 see, yeah, 360 is represented by 3.6. Um, you wouldn't be able to really use this feature if you reduce Stella, just so you know. In fact, I almost deleted this feature, but I figured there are some applications where someone might want to save, a, like, a half a second and have it take the shortcut around, so I thought I'd keep it in. But, um, and yeah, the shortcut here does work better with the faster um, sim speed. Like, it'll it'll just kind of shoot past a little bit when you have this at only 10. If you put it down to the one, it, it's a little bit more accurate um, for some reason. Well, everything works better if the script is running more often. So I think that about concludes the tutorial on how to do this. Oh yeah, see it just it just woke up when I hit OK and now at 25% is 90 degrees. So that's working. And um, with this mode, like I was thinking maybe I could uh, have these buttons for, I don't know, angling some kind of ramp manually or like a lift ramp thing or maybe I could use it for rudders if I haven't tested it with a thruster on it that would be a funny one so I've got that converted to station dish now so it won't move on me as I, I it doesn't have any thrusters on it but this is not a station obviously because it's moving so if I just 
stick a dumb old ion thrust right there. I might might actually need to stick some uh, just stick a bunch of batteries on here, that don't matter. Alright. And then I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna hit the ion thruster. It thinks it's down. Interesting. Oh yeah, so it's it's not jittering anywhere. So it's thrusting away. And you could imagine that this could get really ridiculous. Um, if I had my, um, I, I, I bet, I better not do it. Well, just for testing fun times, I'm going to put some gyroscopes on this, um, this part, and I'm going to really regret this being off balance, so I'm going to... I'm going to put those gyroscopes on thruster override is what I'm going to do. And that's not going to save me very well, but it's better than nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is a terrible idea, but... Um, wait, it's not moving. Oh yeah, it's moving. Wow, it's just uh, not a lot of... Oh yeah, you can see it really taking off now. So now I can angle this. This is a really bad idea. Let's slow us down now. Let's fire this way. It's slowing down. This is not how I recommend flying, but you could do this. I mean, you could stick mass blocks, or like you could put your gravity generators on that. That might be a little easier. Um, this is where, where that shortcut really comes in handy if you have it enabled. Oh, I don't want to crash into that. Actually, what am I doing? Oh gosh! All right, so this is this is a unwieldy vehicle, as you can see. But what better way to test the stepper motor than with some some issues to? Um, it's okay. Let's turn this thing off before I go too crazy. Uh, I'm gonna name this, uh, and then I'm going okay. I said okay, and then I'm gonna go in here. No, I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna stop this thing here so I can convert it back to a station. Just all right. Well, there. Oh, um, I'm in spectator. Let's undo that. There we go. Well, there you have um, this quite ridiculous contraption. Um, anyway, demonstrating how you can make a settable thing, a stepper motor, set precise angle, whatever you like. 7.5 is a fun angle. It's oh, what am I doing? Oh, see, it's it, it saved me from putting in the wrong one. It's this one I want. 7.5, and yeah, it'll just rotate to any precise place that you can set this to. A little easier than going into this and stopping it. Oh yeah, you want to set that to the same so it stops nice. Cause see how the rotor turns off when it reaches position. So it's not wasting any juice. It's at the precise angle of 315 right now. Let's set it to 45. 45's being one of my favorites. Everyone likes the 45, so we just go to this. And it's 45. And off. Sweet. It's working. It's working, guys. Let me know in the comments, etc, etc, if you want any help making something with this, if you have a problem using it, if you have any ideas that um, for this that you want a stepper motor for. There might be other stepper motors out there on the market, I'm sure someone's done it before, but I think something's kind of nice about having these hotkeys. So, uh, I might, uh, yeah, point out anyone else's stepper motor design um, so I can have a look at it, maybe learn something from other creators. Yeah, you know what, I might hop into the workshop 
and search for stepper motor and see see what I find if someone else has a better one I mean I'm, maybe probably but <laughs> I don't know that for sure this is this is all new for me this um, it's been a long time since I made a script and the last time I made it I did not work this hard believe it or not it was well I shouldn't say that it it's just I did it with the DCOP or DCO.PE um, is the URL it's the visual script builder excellent tool and um, I've used it to learn from and this is the first one that I've actually had to sort of build it in the editor really and and do the math that's why like this is this, this thing was a bit of a headache but actually it was easier to do in here than the script the visual script builder because you can just stick in multiply you can put some bracket actually those brackets are redundant now um, and like see I, I've got this function for the speed when it sets the velocity, see I didn't know the syntax for this, I had to get that from the dco.pe thing. But then I was able to just stick math in here with my variables and uh, instead of using the um, like the integer I had set it to, so anyway, anyway, that about wraps it up. I had a lot of fun doing this, hope you guys find this useful. I can put a script to my workshop page in the description so you can find it and uh, subscribe to it in Space Engineers so you've got it in your arsenal of pretty simple to set up scripts. You just need the three blocks really. Advanced rotor, interior light, and a programmable block. And of course some kind of power so it all works. And then once you name them the right things for these two, you don't actually have to name this. I, I at one point had it doing stuff, but it should not matter now. So yeah, it's working. Um, thank you for watching. Enjoy.